they had that day. So oh, anyway, we're going to talk about growing up in the foster care system. So uh, tell, give us some a little, little uh, background information in terms of what happened, and, and we'll work our way through the story. All right. So essentially, um, <clears throat> my mom's boyfriend was an alcoholic. Um, and, you know, my mom did the best that she could. She was a single mom of uh, four, you know, including myself. And I was uh, the only one in my family who had any visual impairment or anything. Uh, That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Essentially, what, what happened was um, that a couple weeks later, I woke up, my little sister came into my room and she was absolutely hysterical. And she said, Bob, there's a police officer downstairs and we have to pack all of our stuff up in a garbage bag. They're taking us away. I went downstairs and I thought, you know, home was kind of a dysfunctional place, but it was still home. And to wake up to something like that as a teenager, it was right before my senior year of high school. Um, it, it was so crazy. Um, and so I thought, what if I can get my shoes on and just run and just get away from this? Because as crazy as home was, it was still home. And I, I couldn't. And so I packed my things up in a garbage bag and they took my little sister and I to the Child Protective Services office. Um, my experience with CPS back in those days, I, I don't, I don't feel very confident with them that they want to keep families together from what I experienced. Now, that's just from a local one there. I, I can't, you know, I know I can't like put that on all of them, but from what I saw there, it was, it was a really traumatizing experience. Um, there was a woman who um, whose daughter was in my eighth grade band class, and um, she she came into the office and she she saw my sister and I sitting there and she looked at them and she told them she said, "Don't give them to anybody else. You know, I'm taking them home with me." And so she took us, and um, we lived there for a while. And then my best friend, Adam, who uh, my youngest son is named after, his mom petitioned for custody of me in the court. And so my sister ended up getting shifted over to where my brother was, which was not a good foster home. Um, I guess there was a lot of verbal abuse that was going on there. And the whole experience was, it, it was just a terrible experience. You know, senior year of high school started, um, my my grandfather um was alone you know and i remember before i had gotten taken i had promised him i was going to go and spend some time with him during the summer and i i never got to keep that promise and the way that child protective services handled that situation um they wouldn't really let us see our grandfather he was a good man there was there was there was no there was no reason why they shouldn't have let um us see him but I never really got to see him before he died. Mm. And now, now let's back up. I want to ask you what, yeah. okay. Your little brother was taken away. Uh, did you ever find out uh, who, who had, who was taking him away at the time? Cause you say you had a, you saw a car drive away and things of that nature. Who was it? It, it was, it was a different foster, uh, fostering, you know, different couple of foster parents. Um, I guess that uh, the husband was like a, a sheriff. I don't know. He worked with law enforcement, but from what I found out, he didn't treat the kids very nicely there. And um, and so that's where my sister went to after um, my my best friend's mom had taken custody of me, and um, they both. It, it was just it was a rough experience, and honestly, it. 
it's a hard thought. Um, I was telling my girlfriend about this the other night, and that was the first time that I told my siblings that I loved them. And that was a lesson that I learned. And why why were y'all taken to why were y'all taken to the foster care? What 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 um, um, what set it there off? Was, there was some abuse that went on in the home. You know, my my little brother. I think that I think that back in those days he was huffing. I can't remember if it was like aerosol or something like that. And um, you know, it's just <laughs> when you have a dysfunctional life, you kind of try to drown it away somewhere or another. And um, he was taken to the hospital because I believe he had passed out. And in the hospital, he was telling them about the stuff that was going on at home. And that that's the thing that set off the whole chain of events. And when you say dysfunctional, do you want to talk? I mean, would give, give, you don't have to go into you know, detail. It's, it's okay. So my mom, I, I love my mom to pieces. And I, I think she did the best that she could. I mean, I know being on my own with my boys, I'm trying to do the best that I can. Mm -hmm. Um, but <laughs> life was just dysfunctional. There, there wasn't um, a whole lot of structure there. I think that that my grandparents, um, my mom's parents, they they were like a the glue that were holding things together. After they passed away, everything just kind of fell apart with my family. Um, but my mom's boyfriend was um, an alcoholic, and there were times where he would get drunk and he would become physically abusive. And it, it was just, um, it was a really difficult experience. I mean, there were a lot of stories and I, I'll try to, I want to try to be careful because if my mom watches this, I don't, I don't want her feeling guilty for anything. Mm -hmm. You know, she did the best she could. We all make decisions in life and, you know, sometimes our choices aren't the best. I mean, I've made my share of them. Um, okay. Yeah. I understand that. So once, 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 once once you all were placed in in the foster care well they first of all they split y'all up right they they did after my best friend's mom took custody of me but they 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 did take my little brother into a different foster home and then it was just my little sister and i for a while and then when my best friend's mom took custody of me my little sister was shifted over to where my little brother was and they 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 got the bad end of the deal <laughs>